my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to do a canvas and we're going to do it using freezer paper as a stencil. So the first thing I need to do is find my image. So I've just come into design space and typed in deer and I've found a couple that I really like. So we've got each of our images here. So with this one, I just, I'm just going to weld it so it becomes one piece. And then this one, I'm going to ungroup it and I'm just going to take away the grey layer by deleting. So I'm then left with the black stag head layer. And then this one, I'm just going to weld it so we're just left with with this. So I don't know which one I want to use. I think I'm going to glitter my my stencil so my image right so we're gonna go with that one so we're gonna get rid of these two and then my canvas is 12 by 12 so the largest piece here is the height so if we do 11.5 and I want to keep it all in proportion I'm just going to go straight to make it now, with freezer paper, there's two ways of doing it. You can either do it so that it's shiny side on the mat and you keep your image as normal, or you do it so it's shiny side up and then you mirror your image. Now, I prefer to do it shiny side up, so I do matte side down. So I need to mirror my image. It's not so much, just like when we're using iron on, it's not so much of an issue uh, when you're doing images, but if you've got text, you'll, you'll need to do it. But you can do freezer paper either way. Uh, it will stick to the mat either way. Uh, I find it's the removal that it makes a difference, and I just think it's easier to remove with the mat side on the mat rather than the shiny side on the mat. So we're going to go to continue. So because the maker is on, it will automatically choose this. Now with the maker, there is a dedicated freezer paper setting. However, with the air, if you just cut on a paper setting, it will work absolutely fine. So you can see that I've got my shiny side up and this is what the shiny side looks like. And you can see it's got a nice sheen to it and it's also got that smooth kind of feel to it as well. And as I say, it's personal preference, but I like mine shiny side up. And then this is the matte side and again you can see it's matte and you can also kind of feel that dullness to it as well. So as I've said you can either place your freezer paper shiny side up or down. I prefer mine up so I have it matte side down but you can do it either way but if you choose to do it the way that I do it please do remember that you'll need to mirror your image. So now we need to remove our image from our mat and I just go round and I do it really, really gently. And I'll then go in and weed out my middle pieces as well. So this is how I remove my freezer paper or just normal paper and I actually remove my mat from the paper rather than my paper from the mat and I just turn my mat over and go in with my spatula and I find that it gives me more control, it doesn't curl the paper and I run less risk of tearing my paper as well and I just find that it works a lot better, it's a really effective way of doing it. So I've got my canvas and my freezer paper and freezer paper is our equivalent of a iron-on stencil and it's absolutely great. So you're going to place it shiny side down onto your fabric or your canvas 
and then you're just going to iron it in place so just like you would with a vinyl stencil you just want to make sure that it's really flat down on your surface so that we get no bleed So my stencil is now all stuck down, it's ironed on. So I've got this metallic spray paint from Wilco's and I'm just going to spray it all over my canvas. So my spray paint is now completely dry, so I'm going to go in with my pointed weeding tool. And I'm just going to pull up my freezer paper. I'm just going to go through and pull it up and that will then leave me with my stencil imprint. So now I've got my imprint, I've got some Mod Podge matte here and I've also got my glitter that I use which is the Nouveau glitter and you can get this from the range. It's my go-to glitter, I absolutely love it. I'm just going to go in with a small artist paintbrush and I'm going to do small sections of a time and I'm just going to paint my glue on and then add my glitter. And I'm going to do it in nice thin layers but I'm going to do it in small sections. off my project once my glitter is all dry I'm just going to go in with a nice thin even layer of Mod Podge just to seal all my glitter in place and this will stop it from falling everywhere when I hang my picture up <laughs> everyone i'll see you all next time please do subscribe like and comment below bye